Here are some highlights of the Cub Cadet XT1 Enduro Series riding lawnmower. Some of the differences you'll see is like on your seat when you move it forward instead of your legs dangling if you're really short, it'll move actually down. So actually your feet are down on the ground. They're not going to be dangling like you'll see on some other riders. Your gas tank is located on the outside as well as how much fuel you'll see, how much fuel you'll have. This way you're not filling up a get hot gas next to a hot motor. Okay. We put Kohler engines in these units. If you need to do any servicing to your, your units, you just simply angle it. You can take it off, unattach the lights, and you have full range all the way around the motor. To take less power from the, from the battery, our lights are also LED lights. The frame on the unit is, we put an E-coat which basically we dip our our, uh, our frames rather than uh, spray painting them. So there's no little milk and crannies to get rust. On the higher end, of course, the, uh, the Cub Cadets, they have anti-scalp wheels both in front and back of the deck. So it's free floating above the grass so you can get uneven terrain. We have the deck wash, which is this little stick here. You hook up the hose, turn on your blades, and instead of having to have to take off your deck, put it up on a, on a lift, you just basically turn on and pressure wash the bottom of your deck. Foot pads are rubber. Makes less vibration on your on your knees when you're riding around. Uh, we left the box here, but this is actually part of the bagger. Makes it a lot easier when you want to add on attachments. If you notice for turning on the PTO, this one's a manual PTO, or when you put this forward, it turns on the blades. Some of the bigger units, it'll be a, an electric start where you push a button here. We put the height adjustments also on the side. For those of us that have a little more in between, you're not reaching in between your legs in order to adjust the height or turn on anything. Okay. This is the mow in reverse. It's a safety feature. What it is when you turn this on and you want to cut backwards instead of running over because 90 kids a year get run over by their parents, you would just go from the green, which is running, the yellow you push the button so you're thinking first before you go in reverse that light will go on so when that light goes on then you know you can go in reverse otherwise the blades will shut down okay we have this is a hydrostatic drive so instead of having a separate brake on the other side or what have you you want to go from forward to reverse you just simply push forward or push reverse it's that simple so you could really see it but you're going to feel a real difference you've driven a john deere you've driven a husqvarna a craftsman if you see the linkage here for our steering it's like automotive so when you drive this you can actually turn with the palm of your hand just like you do your car most of your tractors you have to grip it and really make a turn now this is called mechanical power steering